I'm just trying to kind of straighten it up in my head because because I'm going to have the two transmitters. Um, I'm going to have two transmitters transmitting different. Transmitter A will be inside the container transmitting a song uh, which I've just composed using different rhythms that actually contrast but they can synchronise. So I synchronised the rhythms, created this this bit of music that will be playing through head through from one's transmitter just as a recording to the audience member who will go into the container on their own. They then can improvise around the rhythms, they can just walk, just sit down and whatever sound they make hopefully will be picked up by a mic inside the container that will transmit to an external transmitter that will come through the headphones. So in theory it works. I, would, I was thinking perhaps, is there any way to through the transmitter that will be outside for the audience members to have both the microphone picking up what's going on inside the container and the song that I've recorded. That, that's not possible, is it? I'd need to have a jack splitter, essentially. Yeah, you'd need a, you'd need a, you'd need like a splitter, wouldn't you? Yeah. Not a splitter, a mixer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that would work fine. So. song through um, um, it's it's been really bizarre yeah not the whole process has not been what I expected I my project in my head was some kind of training mechanism between an ensemble which I intend I intend to achieve but this has certainly taken my idea and uh, and made, it's really made, the exercise is having to consider my idea in a different light whether that be through projection through microphones even through the fact that I didn't have an ensemble to train with and it wasn't I didn't have the space and time to train as I like as I might have kind of intended it's made me get at least try and get to the bottom of what my project's about and open up horizons. Um, there you go. <laughs> 